Hello everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie and today's video is a continuation of my series where I talk about manipulatives that I am making for my son for his general learning. Um, I, my son is 15, he has autism. And so some of the major things that we're doing this coming year for his homeschool um, is focusing more on life skills than a lot of the academics. His um, learning window, his green light, if you will, to learn is a very narrow and I want to make some menus and you will see them once they're all put together. I'm still making the bits and pieces of them, but I wanted to share one of the things that we're doing. So one of the major life skills that our kids need is to kind of look outside and go, I think I should wear long pants because it looks cool outside. Or winter has come, I need my winter boots, I need my winter coat. And up until now, like I think for the most part, he knows all of this, but I want to see him do it on his own. And so I've made, one of the pages that I've made is just a Google, quick Google search about what seasons. We live in Alberta, Canada, and so I got some mountainy pictures. Um, spring was hard. I found spring very hard. But if you live, say, in a place like Florida, you could have, this is our beach day, this is our like weather, you know, in our winter period or frame of mind and change the clothes based on that sort of thing. So I have a couple and I think this won't be the only page that I do. I might change it up and throw in a beach scene because it's summertime. We're going to the beach um, coming up here in a couple of weekends. And so I can change this up as well and say, oh, look, it's not it's not just summer anymore. It's beach weather. <laughs> and this one will go in his menu and he will then. Oh, I was going to get the things. I have little Velcro punch it or little stickers. There we go. Little Velcro stickers that I'm going to just put on the face of the page and attach it to his clothes. So again, quick Google search. I searched out a whole bunch of JPEG pictures and then laminated them. And some of them, the clothes, I really tried to get them to mimic some of the clothes that he actually wears. So one of them is this shirt. Um, he has a shirt just like that. Um, and I put it in these little pouches that I got from Timu for like three, four dollars. I got a bunch of them. Um, he's got a scarf. His, his winter jacket is black. It doesn't look exactly like this, but I tried to get things that were very close to what he has. Um, his summer hat looks very close to that. Um, he has a sweater, a Grinch sweater. It's not exactly like this, but things that he would recognize in his own wardrobe that I want him to be able to recognize and go, oh, okay. Um, I'm just trying to find, yeah. Like one in particular is he has these exact swim shorts <laughs> or something very, very, very similar. So I'm going to have all of these available to him, including his winter boots, boots which are black, um, a spring coat. All of these things he's going to have laid out before him and he will be able to essentially dress for the weather. So um, he might go, I'm going to need my spring coat and he's going to put the spring coat on here with some little Velcro pieces. Um, my Batman shirt definitely goes in the summer. My oh, Grinch probably will go in winter or spring or even fall. So it's things like that that I really want to teach him. Something simple and easy and straightforward. It'll take him literally maybe five minutes to do really fast, really easy. And I've, I've got a whole packet of these. And so, like I said, I can switch out the pictures and from there he can really focus and see what, what, what clothes 
knows what I need to wear that. I might do for the spring, I might do a garden scene that they're just starting to plant or whatever and see what um, clothes he thinks he would need for that. And then we can talk about if he puts his um, t-shirt in spring but not a, a jacket, I might be like, oh, I think there's still a little bit of snow here. You might get a little bit chilly. We should probably give you a coat as well. And so there's going to be the discussion and stuff and then he can look through and find the coat that he wants and so on. So, I mean, it's so funny because you think it's like, it's paperwork just like any other. Um, but it's different in the way that it's more hands-on, more thought out, uh, specific to him. And those little Velcro pieces, as long as they fit on and they um, are correct to the season, I don't care if he has a full outfit at this point. I just want to see where he thinks they should go. And then we can always go from there. So... That's the beauty of this is that I look at it and go, I could at some point change this and make it a whole person and have the the person go, okay, on the feet, he should have socks. Um, on his head, he should have the toque or the, the beanie um, on, you know, whatever. And I can just say, okay, it's summertime and I'll throw in a little sun on the corner with a, a beach hat or something. And then he he, he gets that cue but it like that's there's so many ways to use this that I feel like it's so uh what's the word I'm looking for um it's so versatile that I can adapt and change it and do whatever I need to to make it new on a regular basis for him and I'm so excited about any manipulative that does that for him and teaches him a life skill. So that's it for today. I hope that that um, encourages you. Again, the least expensive amounts of things, printer, paper, if you've got it already, if you've got Google already, four or five dollars from Timu to get a whole pack of these, um, a laminator or even packing tape and you're good. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for hearing me and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.